taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree Hey, you Yes, you Subscribe to our channel Please, otherwise Megatron may kill me again And no, I'm not kidding He's right there Hey, Josh So please, subscribe I don't want to be back in two pieces your subscription means a lot to us. Hi everyone, so today we have a review for the KO30 Series 102 Optimus Prime figures from Byway. So in here, you can see that we have an instruction manual. So this instruction manual is actually a little different from the original Series Series 102. They add in a few additional steps, especially at the back of the figures when in vehicle mode to clean up the back of the vehicle a little more nicely and as you can see in here those steps specifically are over here so at the back of the figures you notice that it's already different from the Studio Series 102 and then they also advertise for their trailer from the Vivas Jack of the Moon trailer it's also compatible with these figures because of this specific piece the ray piece that they have on the back of the figures over here so that make these figures compatible with that previous trailer and here are just the accessories so that should be enough for the instruction manual so going into the actual packaging so because in here i ordered the packaging without a box so in here they basically just have this plastic containers with the figures inside and these accessories and then we have a smaller bag of accessory for the spheres including the gun the axe the hologram earth and then just some pieces for us to sample the no idea spheres okay so let's open this box let's put this on the side for now so inside this box you see the stuff already come out but um, we do have two swords the sword is actually a little different from the MXC sword in terms of the orange colors over here. So on the edge of this sword, they actually have that orange color. And here's our main Optimus figures. Color is pretty nice, especially for the blue part. So that blue color is a little metallic blue. So they are kind of shiny. Here's the head of the figures. Initially, when these figures were reviewed, the head looked different from what they are right now. But I do like this one more, so I'm kind of glad they actually changed the head design because previously it looked a little goofy. Here, the front, the side of the figures, and the back of the figures. So for the wheel, the MXC one have double wheel, but this one also has just have regular wheel. As you can see, the smoke tag, they are, oh, they are rotatable. Okay, so it's not backward, but we can actually rotate this depending on where we want to face so oh i didn't know that oh this can be unplugged as well and we can see that for this figure they actually pen this area as well because for the mxz figures i have to pen this myself and then we have another slight difference in here that is in the chest you can see that is a matrix of leadership that's pretty cool huh that's pretty cool addition they didn't have to do that but they did so that's another advantage between these figures and the other KO Studio Series 102 or even the original Studio Series 102. Let's take a look at their other accessories. So we have two swords. We have a gun here as well. Let's put this way. Two swords here. And then we have two guns. The gun, they actually, the red on the gun, they are different shade of red in comparison to the gun from the MXC. Let's try plugging in the gun to see whether it's better than the MXC one because when I reviewed the MXC one, I noticed that the gun didn't really stay. So to integrate the gun, of course, we just have to flip this, close that, and then I noticed that um this, oh, they make improvement because in here you see that it's not only a hole there to be plugged into this tiny pack, but now they also have a pack here. So I would guess we'll go into this hole. So that should make the connection sturdier. And yes, oh my God, I love this so much already. This make the connection way more sturdier in comparison to the MXZ one. 
Oh my gosh, finally Optimus can hold his gun and then shoot his gun freely without robbing the gun. For the shoulder joy, they didn't do much in comparison to the original figures, but it's okay. So we know that the gun will be integrated more strongly into this figure. So that's good, and we do have two gun here. More accurate to the movie. Unlike the MXC one, they didn't give us the original gun from the 102, but it's fine, that gun sucks. And then here's the, here's the back of the figures. That's for vehicle mode only, it's part for me. And outside of those parts, we do have this packaging as well. So let's open this bag. So inside this bag, we have of course, earlier as I mentioned, this hologram earth. This hologram earth actually looks different from the MXC one. So that's cool to see that they don't just reuse the moon from other figures. And let's put that away. We have a gun here. And this gun actually has two different set of colors. So black and then silver on top. It kind of silver and bronze. Bronze colors. That's look pretty cool. That's much nicer than just a regular black gun. And it's actually plugged into the figures very strongly as well. It's not loose. Uh, the MXC one. Okay. I already like this much more than the other one then. Not only for the scale, this one will be more in scale with the study of series figures. Oh, and this is the back piece that they use to integrate these figures to their jet pack from Jack of the Moon. So basically what we do is just to plug this in like this, it will just stay there. So we have the pack at the back of the figures, it just plug in, easy as that. And then the trailer, the jet pack should be able to sl slide in here. The last accessories that we have are those parts for no idea spheres and just look at the head. The part is like, it's really tiny, a tiny part. Oh jeez, I didn't realize how small this figure is. But that is really cool because we have an articulated figures at this super small size. And that's gonna scale well with, of course, this Optimus. Let's go to the direct comparison between this and the MXT one. So we see what are the main difference between the two figures. So this is the MXC, the MXC KO Optimus. This figure is still a very good Optimus figure. It's very happy. The build quality is pretty good. But then he have his disadvantage as well in terms of his weapon integration. He doesn't hold his pair of weapon on that well. Oh, it's pretty hard to flip out the arm. Okay, let's just leave it there. Let's just leave him bring the gun and let him wear his gun later so here we can see the scale different already one is way taller than the other one the mxc one is essentially start like two centimeter or even an inch taller look at this that's huge different it's not just the high it's beefier as well so those are the two figures and here's the parts that I mentioned earlier. So on the by way figures actually pin those part red already. For the MXC one, those part were just red colors and then I had to paint it myself. Even those part as well, I painted myself as well. Initially there was just red. Red plastic, but on the by way one, they actually pin those part as well. So that's good. And of course, in here, we have the matrix of leadership. While in the MXC one, we basically have nothing in there. And not to mention that initially, this part was red. Like totally red. I have to paint that part as well, but this part was already painted on the byway one. And they even mourn in that matrix of leadership and also paint that matrix of leadership as well. That's that's pretty good, like it's painted everywhere. Let's look at the legs. That's much different there. Of course, the blue shade 
of color is different. This one is shinier. It's more metallic, while this one is just blue plastic. Then here are the side. Just the side look. Pretty much the same, except this part. This part is different, as opposed to this. Hmm. Interesting. There's some slight difference here and there. And then here's the back of the figures. Let's see. So regarding the smoke tag, the smoke tags in here, they can be rotated. They can be unplugged as well. But for the MXZ one, those smoke tags, they just stay there. Just like the original one, you can't really rotate. It's just one piece that got plugged in here. So that's another difference. So this one has more customization option. And then the back of the figures again, we see that for the ties or the byway one, they have two different shades of colors, silver and then metallic gray. On the MXC one, it's just on silver, on the ties. But for the, the wheels, as you can see, for the MXC one, they actually have double wheel for the back of the figures. So that part is better than the byway figures. But um, the back wheel for the byway figures, they're actually bigger as well. You can see that uh, it's not just skinny tire like this it's actually a thick tire so not too bad not too bad but it should be a double tie so if you compare the size of the regular tie i mean the regular ties up here to this tie you see that this one is bigger in person to that regular top one so they actually did something they don't just keep that mold of the small tie and put it down here so it's still something that's good. Then for the front of the figures. Hmm. Interesting. Now that I put those two together, I think the head of the by way figures is a little small. If we put the MXC head onto that by way figures, it may actually look better, but then it might not be transformable. Hmm. Okay, but option option. Let's go to accessory. So let's put that by way figures over there and we know that those accessories belong to him. Let's get out. Let's put this on the byway side as well. Then we have of course for the MXC one we also have two guns. Let's compare the gun. So see that this gun obviously is smaller, but then it's have the extra piece as well and that make it uh, when you plug into the figures, it gives a sense that the gun is actually transformed from the figures itself. So that's pretty cool, I think. Let's see. Uh, that's not the right side. Maybe this side. Yes. So when you plug in here, you see that this piece. It's collapsed in here at the back of the arm. So it gives us a sense that this gun actually got transformed out of the figure's arm. So that's really cool. So the, we know that the shape of the gun is different. This shape is different from this. They have an extra piece. The colors are different. Even the ray metallic colors in the middle, they're different as well. This may appear similar on the camera, but it's not. And then, as you can see in here, for the MXC one, they only have one hole here, so that the, the pack in the arm will pack in here. But for the byway one, they actually integrate in another pack that can be plugged in to the hole on the arm. So that's solidify the connection even more. So that's good because I have a previous problem with this figure where I plug this in. It just doesn't stay. It doesn't stay. The pack is way too short and it's really loose. It doesn't fit tightly in here. So for that, I'll go with the byway for sure. But for vehicle mode, this double tire have the advantage. And actually for the vehicle mode, maybe a bigger truck for these bigger figures would be nicer as well. So yeah, for the gun, that's pretty cool difference. And then of course, for the back of the figures, this is for the vehicle mode for that MXZ figure, and this is for the vehicle mode for the byway figures. So those are different. And then we have two axes. Let's see. 
here are two eggs. The one on the right side belong to the by way. They actually have two different shades of color as well. The middle part, they are metallic gray. And then this part, they actually bronze silver color, similarly to the colors on top of the gun here. So that's really cool. We have two different shades of colors on there. For the MXC one, it's just gray metallic all over the figures. So we see that that's already different. And then for the MXC one, you have to unplug this so that it can be put onto the armor of the figures. And then we plug the back of their X in. So the X mode actually different as well. This X is shorter, and it also have this part. I wonder what are we gonna do with this? Probably just for weapon storage because this is just a regular pack that can be packed into anywhere. So yeah, that is for weapon storage, I think. That's, that's pretty convenient, weapon storage. But of course, this doesn't make their axe look too good by itself, but it's still good. So those are different in terms of the axe. Then let's bring in the gun. So as you can see, we have two different gun here. The MXZ one just have own solid black going. Actually, the mold are different as well. Like uh, you can see that the cartridge here is actually that one is molded more nicely than the regular cartridge on a byway. Actually, two different molds for the gun. They're not the same. It's not the same mold. Even the barrels is different. You can see the shape of this one is more circular and it's shorter and then this one is uh, more cylindrical and it's longer interesting i didn't notice that earlier the gun mode are different cool i think i like this mode more but um the color they have to give it to the byway one and then of course we have this hologram earth we also have that with the mxc so this one, hologram earth. Whoa, I like this hologram earth on the by way more. It seems to be a more intricate shape, while this one is just like circular, like that. Hmm. So that is that, but here we also have this. This hologram transwap key from the right of the beast movie and we actually have the transwap key as well so those are additional accessory that only the mxc one have the byway doesn't have this but if you buy the optimus bramo figures you would get at least this transwap key as well not the hologram one but um that's another option just get the optimus bramo figures and you would be able to get this even better than this, actually, like from the original figures, the tram warp scale look more accurate and can actually be split in half. Just like in the movie. Okay, just put those parts back and then here we just have like a regular original molded gun from the original Studio Series 102, but that gun is not nice, so don't have to take it out. And then here we have, of course, the accessory for our smaller figures, that is the no ideas figures. No, the no ideas figure is actually the main, the main thing that makes the MXC one one over the byway one for me. This figure is so good. It have actually pin inside joist, like for the legs here. So you don't have to actually example that. Even for the arm, so you can see that for the shoulder, the knee, elbow, they have pin, metal pin in there. So that's really good. But of course, this figure is bigger, taller than the byway no ideas figure. So it would not scale so well with the Optimus Ram from byway. But actually, that doesn't look bad. So I think this could be my definitive version for no ideas or i can even use these figures for some other smaller character just pretends to be like for example cockman from the last night i think that's work too it's really cool and this one has blast effect 
plus effect and then some plus effect at the back for their no amp figure as well. So that's another cool thing about this. But other than that, I think below between those two, the buy way actually take the win for me. So here is how he scale with wheel check for the Bumblebee movie. Because this figure is pretty much similar between Rob the Beast and Bumblebee movie, so you can use this Optimus as the Bumblebee movie Optimus as well. The slide different is just for those eyebrows over here, but other than that, it's the same design, same weapon and all. Like they even give this gun, just take off that gun, dip it on there, just, he will serve as your Bumblebee Optimus Prime easily. I think that scale worked out really well, worked out really well for the two figures. I don't have the Studio Series Bumblebee, but I do have the Trumpeter Bumblebee because I think this one is more accurate. Let's look at him. But of course, he's tiny and he doesn't transform. But I think that scale doesn't look bad. Look at those two. Because Bumblebee is a little too small, but still good. The Rhinox figures from Rob the Fist. So you can see that this Rhinox is obviously custom painted so that's why he looked like that but those two oh my gosh it looks so nice right now he's a little small in terms of his beast mode i think it's that worked out really well in his robot mode he will be a little taller than optimus just a little but the reasons why i live right now in the beast mode is because of this RC figures. So let's bring in RC. That's how he scale with Rob the Beast Studio Series Core Class RC. Not bad. I think this scale is accurate. RC is just tiny in the movie. And then, of course, I leave these figures here simply because he will pose well with his RC. Look at that how RC look standing on Rhinox. If you stand on Rhinox, he has almost the same scale as Optimus Ram. That's how they look together, that's pretty cool. Let's bring in other Rob the Beast figures. We have the Core Class Nova King. Of course, this is the, essentially the same size as their Freezer figures. The only difference between the two is just the head. This one have battle damage head while the other one have just regular heel head. That's how they scale together. So Nova can is tiny in comparison to Optimus Prime. That's really cool. In the movie, they should be even smaller, but it's okay. This is good enough. Here is Thunder Wrecker. Thunder Cracker. So he's at the same scale as Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Starstream or Studio Series Bumblebee Trust or even their Skywalk figures that's coming out. They are all at the same scale and they pretty much have the same mold except for Trust. So you can see that how they scale. And then if you use these figures at your Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime, that will work out so well because he really much destroys so many seekers in that movie. You can definitely recreate the skill and the scene. And see that they are at the same height. Or Optimus is a little taller. A little taller up to the head. Actually, if this figure stand up straight, I think they are the same height. So yeah, they scale really well together. Of course, if you bring in the MXC, you see that the MXC is way too tall. Like way too taller than Thundercracker and one of the other seekers, so of course that's why he doesn't scale well for the study series. Main Decepticon, Soundwave from the Bumblebee movie. Let's look at them. Optimus actually is a little taller than Soundwave. A little taller than Soundwave. As you can see, that's how they scale together. That's pretty good. That's really good. Soundwave is like really buff in comparison to Optimus Ram. Optimus Ram is a little skinnier but taller, slightly bit taller. 
And then of course, if we bring in Sawe, it's better to give him his minion as well. That is this study series Ravage. And then the Optimus Ram actually have seen for him fighting with Ravage as well. So look at them. That's really cool. That's really cool side different. You leave him on Optimus like that. Just like in the movie. I think that scale perfectly. That scale perfectly. That's really cool. Regarding their articulation, if you guys don't know it. So this guy, he has a little improved articulation on the head as well. So it can be tail can be tilted side to side. For the original ones, it would not be able to be tilted side to side. So it's, the head already come off, but I can just plug it back in. So of course we can rotate this 360. It can tilt side to side. And that is can it doesn't look up. It doesn't really look up. But it can look down a little bit. Regarding the shoulders, it can go up like this, still not very natural. Doesn't have butterfly joy, but it can rotate 360. And down here we have bicep swivel. And then we have a double the double joint for the elbow. That's really good. Properly for transformation. And then we have whistle patient down here. Same thing for the other arm. And then for the leg, it can do the full split. And then, oh, those part, the skirt part, they're actually metallic. They're actually made of metal, die cast metal for the skirt part. So that's good. And then down here, the leg can go up that far, kick up that far, and then it can, doesn't really kick back, doesn't really kick back much. But um, down here, we have very good knee joints, bend over 90 degree, so it can do the high kick, or the knee jump kick, so that's good. And down here, we have, of course, up and down movement, even side to side, very good, very good ankle too. Can even tilt the other way as well. And then of course we have 360, it's just on a bone joy. And the joy feel really tight. They, nothing is loose on these figures. Same thing on the other, on the other legs. And then of course here we have a little squibble for the leg. That's good enough in terms of the calculation, I think. This guy, the original Studio Series 102 is already very good. So, in terms of articulation, this guy exactly like the original one. It's still really good. With all of his accessories, as we can see in here, he has a tons of accessories. And his connection for all the weapon, they, they are so good. They can connect well, especially for the gun. This gun also can be held very tightly onto the figures unlike the MXC one. And then I would assume that he can have, he can hold his axe tightly as well. Yes, it fit in very tightly, not loosely at all. But um, the, the axe is a little small for the figures, I would say. But it is at the same size as the original one, so it's fine. And then, if we want, we can plug this in to see the hologram earth. Yeah, look at that. Look really cool. In overall, I think this figure is very worth the money. What, $25? You can even get him lower as well. So I think for this price, definitely, definitely worth it. Of course, he KO figures, but he has very well-made KO figures. I totally recommend this guy. If you're looking for him, he's already available on multiple sites, so good luck hunting.